Time to go, Isabel. Even if last light falls, your mission does not change. You must find Catherick Thorne. And you must kill him. There must be a way to break the spell that makes him invincible. There are secrets in this ancient waste hidden from... It's happening. They'll all be taken by the shadows. Only by the grace of Isabel's spell will we be spared the same fate. They're all gone. My brave ones, my friends, my harpers. But you live. A single green leaf holding fast on a tree ravaged by winter. Pray that I live to tell your tale. Farewell. Remember, Catherick wants her alive, no matter what. What in the nine hells happened? You wretch! To think you had my trust? If this be my last act? Let it be in service of strangling the life out of you! Harpers, we must cleanse. It's happening. For a little while longer, you and I are destined to fight side by side. But if the shades don't take you, I have the next claim on your head. It is abominable that you still live. You who has cost us so much, the murderer of light! These dead need not be buried. Beneath this canopy of darkness, all is one yard of restless graves. You will lie and rot among them. You bluff I call. Let's see who has the upper hand. No. To let you live would be beyond cowardice. You sowed these many dead. Now I will do the reaping. I should end you. But my strength fails me. Perhaps I can outrun the shadows. Even as I pray, they will creep into the very marrow of your bones. Whether the worm in your skull overwhelms you or not, your end will be a vile one. No time for mercy. Ah! What in the nine hells happened? Liar. It was you who killed her. I gave you my trust too easily. But with the same ease, I swear I'll strike you down. I don't see how she... Unless some cultists sneaked in. The gods will be overrun. Isabel is gone. Soon the shadows will wash us all away. A little spat. I can't believe I didn't see you for what you are. A murderer. You killed her. And in doing so, you've spelled our doom. I gave you my trust too easily. <laughs>